Hi, I'm Steve from Brownells, back with another gun from the vault. Today we're looking at the CZ-75 semi-auto pistol. 9mm double stack, model of 1975. This is back when a lot of the Wonder 9s were just starting to come online. The Smith & Wesson 59 was around, Browning High Power had been around forever, but uh, this was a new player in the game and quite a game changer in many ways. As you may know, the CZ-75 is both single and double action, so if your hammer is down, you can cycle it just like a Beretta 92. It's got a frame-mounted safety, slides, stops the same place, magazine same place. Very familiar and yet totally different in many ways. Ergonomically, it, it competes with the Browning High Power for best feel in the hand. In fact, this is a later 75B model and these Coke bottle style grips that uh, swell out are very, very comfortable. And these are standard issue grips. This gun feels like it was meant to be in your hand. So let's look at the design and what they did the same and what they did different because this has a lot of browning features in it along with a few uh, Beretta features, Walther features, you name it. The magazine, as many other magazines, goes way back uh, like the high power magazine. Double stack, steel construction, nothing new there. I believe this one holds 16 rounds. Good capacity. To disassemble one of these, so we can take a look at it, there's two little marks here. You want to line those up. So you take the slide, after you've verified that it's empty, of course, which we just did, and line those two marks up, and then push on the slide stop. It's a little hard to push with your fingers, so I push it against the pistol block. Take that out, lower the hammer, and gun comes apart. Up here, conventional recoil spring assembly. Barrel comes out the back like a high power does. And look at that. You've got a cam, but it's a closed loop cam. Pretty slick. A Little bit of machining involved there. Otherwise, this looks a lot like a high power barrel. The way it, uh, the lug, lugs and the taper go. The way the feed ramp fits. You can see what inspired it. When you look at the slide, again, you've got your cuts up here. You've got an external extractor, which uh, very robust extractor. No breakage problems there. You rarely hear of a CZ breaking an extractor. A dovetail sight in the back, pin sight in the front. This sight's very easy to replace, actually. As easy as a dovetail, if not more easy. Um, one thing you will notice that's a radical departure from the Browning designs is that the outside rails are on the slide. The inside rails are on the frame. So when you put the two together, the frame wraps around the slide. Very smooth. Now you do lose a little bit of your cocking serrations up here, but the feel and the ergonomics are well worth it. Very nice design. Very thought out. Um, you'll notice there's a lot of guns on the market from Tanfoglio uh, that are copies of the CZ. And Tanfoglio started making those because originally these were made in Czechoslovakia and because of the international situation they were not easy to export. This gun was developed as a service pistol but also for western export but the circumstances didn't allow it very easily back in the day. There was a heck of a tariff put on these. So Tanfoglio stepped in, marketed most of those guns through EAA, you know, the Witness pistols, and they are a variation of this, and they're available in all the different calibers, all the different configurations as well. But the CZ from the Czech Republic is the original. That's the one that started it. It's a great gun, excellent service pistol, something you can depend on to defend yourself. Great design. If you have any particular firearms you'd like us to present, leave us a comment. We'll do what we can to find one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time when we bring you another gun from the vault.